most people go throughout their lives not even tuning in to how they're, they're feeling, how their body is responding to what's going on around them. In the treatment room, it's a great opportunity to tune into that and become more aware and to listen to the subtleties of the body and what the body is trying to tell you. We can't create that stillness within for our guest. All we can do is provide the space and experience so that our guests can kind of tap into that part of themselves where they feel comfortable letting go. Bringing the harvested herbs is a, a very real approach to bringing nature into the treatment room. Seeing what smells good, what feels good, we change it seasonally to make sure that we're keeping in line with what the body needs and what nature is providing. It's every chef's dream to have the farm right there and just get our stuff. I'll go up there a couple times a week and just see what's coming in, what's growing, you know, what, what dishes I can make. You really have more of a connection with those ingredients when you watch them start to grow. You, can, you appreciate them more. We put a lot of thought into flavor combinations. It's not hard to cook healthy. You just have to put a little bit of time into, you know, finding some healthy things and just putting them together. Like I always try to get heirloom variety vegetables just because they taste so much better. You don't have to load them up with sauces. You know, I want to let them just shine through, let the ingredients speak for themselves. It's so easily made. I think when I do a cooking class and I can whip two dishes up in 45 minutes for 22 people, they're like shocked, but I'm like, this is how easy it is, you know? You just have to buy good ingredients, healthy cooking techniques, and that's it. Creativity allows a different side of, of yourself, your personality to show, but kind of gives you a new passion for life and a new energy. When people go to work and have children, everything else gets put on the back burner. What we try to do is give people that time that they need to develop those passions, whether it's art or cooking or exercising. When you do allow that, that little gift, it's really a gift to everything else. And you go back and you're a better person at your job as a parent, as a homemaker, whatever it is that, that you do, you go back to whatever you're doing with a new gusto. That's probably the most exciting part of what our staff does, is be able to enlighten people on something that they didn't expect they would be interested in. And that's really when we know that we've been successful. The smell of the earth, the smell of the trees, the smell of whatever is blooming and the pollinating. Anytime we have a guest go into the woods, we stop and make them recognize those things because that's the important part of it, is opening all your senses. And then you really start looking at things around you. You could see the greens and the ferns. You could smell the smells. I had a woman today that said, it smells like spices out here. I said, that's the leaves. That's the leaves smell like when in the fall when they hit the ground and they're wet. What you're smelling is wet leaves. And it does, it smells amazing. I've always looked at the woods as a precious place. It just Synergy brings you down to like a really organic level. You have a better sense of who you are, a better sense of the world around you, and it just makes you want to breathe deep and take it in and stop for a minute and look. People coming here need this. It's something that a lot of people are missing from their lives. They're surrounded by concrete and mayhem, and they could come here and they could breathe and they can see green things, and that's a big change. And it's a two, three hour drive for some people, and it's a different world here. It's a totally different world. You need to be able to have some of this in your life too. It's good for you.